Hello guys, uh, Serpent X here, just getting ready to upgrade a couple things, well actually one thing. Um, upgrading from the EVGA Super Clock 1070, uh, of course is the ACX version, not the ICX, to the Oris uh, GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, right now currently in my system I got of course the Corsair um, 750 power supply. Not fully modular, but pretty much modular, semi-modular, I guess you could say. Uh, 960 EVO, as you can see over there, only 250 gigabytes. 500 gigabyte, 850 EVO. Uh, four terabyte hard drive. Um, motherboard is a ASRock uh, Z270 Tachi motherboard. Got the original, um, not the original, I think it's the second gen H100i uh, and G-Skill Trident's um, RGB 3200 and the CPU is the 7700K hotbox. I'm not deleted yet but I will be doing that here soon as I have all the tools, pads, uh, permatex, everything I need to do it. I haven't decided if I'm gonna go uh, naked die or not attached to IHS and just let it sit on there but that's neither here or there. I'm waiting for Steve and the Gamers Nexus crew to do their part um, and see if that's well worth it. Right now, stock clocks or even just stock hitting 4.8 gigahertz is plenty enough room. I just really no need to overclock. Maybe later as things get older, but right now, that's the top of the line um, processor that you can get for this class. Maybe not the enthusiast class, the X99 series, you know thousand dollar freaking 6900k or sixteen hundred dollars 6950x but you know for for what I've got and uh, tax return that's basically what I needed anyways look at the size of this guy 1070 you know dual slot usual let's see what the uh, gigabyte guy looks like it gave me a nice big box for it thing is heavy definitely heavy oh isn't this a fancy box that won't bend. Okay. Is this envelope? Nice. That driver disc. Yes, we already know. One thing, the reason I got this is, uh, as you can see, my case is old. The reason I got it is obviously, um, of course, back when I got it, they didn't. I didn't have the external bay options that I could hook up through USB. I just got that because I repair a lot of computers on the side, so it's just easier to do the hard drive and other people's computers pull it out, scan it, do whatever I need to, repairs, stuff like that. So the case serves its purpose, plenty of cooling, plenty of um, air going through it, um, liquid cooling not so much, but hey, that's neither here or there. So this guy, holy smokes, I am definitely going to need two hands for this guy. Be right back. Just to give you a comparison, finally got the uh, the bag opened up to show you this. Look how much bigger that guy is. Not only in girth, but freaking length, height, width, everything. Look at that. Thing's a beast. So, uh, of course we got uh, two HDMI. Display ports, DVI, and then an HDMI port on the back, which I'm eventually, as I was trying to say earlier, I'm going to upgrade to probably the S340 Elite by NZXT. I may have said that wrong. I do apologize if I did. But uh, that one's got the HDMI port on the front for a pass-through to the video card, which I eventually will do. All right, so let's see how this behemoth sits in here. All right, so here's the final product all in nested in there taking up quite a significant amount of space I mean geez Louise but it's got all the wonderful features I was gonna go with the EVGA um, uh, for the win card probably should have but I was impatient I'm sorry EVGA I'm sorry okay just I couldn't wait any longer the only difference between this and the extreme edition is the copper plate on the back isn't as big um, as the extreme edition the clocks are a little bit less but 
all these 1080s have pretty much limit on them anyway. So I can overclock this guy to the equivalent of the Extreme Edition and then Gamers Nexus disprove the fact that this copper plate really does anything significant. Significant. Um, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but their, their testing and method methodology you know, kind of disproved that. So I'm just going to ride out with this guy. It should suffice. So there you go, 1080 Ti, top of the line for right now. 77K uh, Intel processor, top of the line. And it will remain that way for what? Another three months when newer technology comes out. So let's see, power up this guy, see how things run, do some benchmarks, and uh, see how
Thank you.